All right, let's examine the Stetson Open Road. This is it. This is the open road. Okay. There's a few different um, distinguishing qualities that you're going to see that it has. Um, first of all, it's got the cattleman's crease, which is like the classic cowboy crease. There it is. Three-finger crease, you might call it. But it's much, much lower. It's, it's not high. It's a very low, low crown, as you can see. It's not a big, big hat. All right, it's sort of a low crown. A lot of people that are big-headed, tall-headed, bigger guys, they make little impressions here, little bumps here and here. They bottom out because the crowns are so low. Where a typical cowboy hat, it'll be up here, you know, like way up there. So if you get a little bump here, like a little circle from your head making a, just a bump, or, you know, you hit the roof, it's natural. What I generally do is I make a little, uh, little bubble inside there. I raise the crown. I have many videos on this. Make like a little sort of hot dog shaped uh, bubble on the top of the crown, and we deepen it so that you have enough depth for your head. Uh, but there's nothing you could do about the side ones if you bottom out there. It's just part of the look. One thing you could do is you could tighten the hat. If you just make it tighter, then the hat raises up higher, and you might not make that impression. But you got to go quite a bit tighter. All right. Now it's got this western open road or rancher style western string tie kind of a band. If you don't like it hanging loose, what you can do is you can tack it right there with a stitch. You just bring it to the side and just kind of tack it against there. And you do the same thing here. Basically just lay it flat, kind of like that. One little tack stitch on each side and it could look kind of neat. Personally, I just like steaming it and just pressing it like that. Let it do what it needs to do. Now let's talk about the flange. This is supposed to be a flange kind of like a snap brim, but it barely flanges, it barely snaps. Um, open roads of late have been coming with almost no flange. The brims are very flat. Most people seem to like it that way. They're okay with the flatness of the brim. Um, sometimes there's flange on, you know, like on some ends of it, not on other ends. But that's the nature of these hats. They just don't have nice uh, flanges. They have flattish brims. Um, this is the Royal Deluxe version of the open road. Which means it's a softer kind of like a dress hat felt. Same stuff they make your whippets and your strata liners out of. And your, uh, I don't know what else. Yeah, it's like a... Stradliner Premier, kind of a dress felt, but a thick one. The 6X version, it's the same thing. It's basically thinner, yet much stiffer. The Western felt 6X version. Same deal with the flange, almost no flange. Neither one is really better. Maybe the Royal Deluxe is a little better in terms of felt quality, but they're both pretty thin. Um, they also have one that's a distressed quality, which we've never messed with. Uh, and there's something called the pure quality, which is a pure beaver version. Again, we've never had one, so I can't comment on it. Um, but this is what the brims are like. No matter what your, what series you're getting, they use the same shape, same block. So that's your brim. That's what an open road brim is generally like at least a, a newish one. There's usually an open road logo. There it is, yeah. It's one of the few hats that has a logo like. And this 
since it is the Royal Deluxe, doesn't have X's. It's not Western felt. It's dress felt. It's got the pin, the branding iron pin, which comes out. Make sure you get that. And that is the open road at a glance. Caribou is the color. Brim size is on one here too. Two and three quarter inch brim on the open road. California stuff has these cancer and reproductive uh, warnings for anything that has uh, Teflon coatings on it, certain sprays. So this is made in California, apparently, not in Texas. Um, the open road.